Julian Assange has internet cut at Ecuadorian embassy in London. Um, so a little background story or a little background information. My three heroes are Julian Assange, Edward Snowden, and I'll get back to you on the third. But yeah, these two are obviously two of my heroes, um, which is why I cover a lot of the stuff and why I'm pro free speech. Um, look, regardless of what you say about Snowden, yes, he broke the law, but yes, he did it for the right reasons. So I still class him as a hero. But Julian Assange has had his internet cut at the Ecuadorian embassy in London. Um, at the moment, I still do not have any word as to whether or not it's been reconnected. I tried checking his Twitter. He still hasn't posted. Um, so at the end of the day, he uh, looks like he's still offline at the moment. Ecuador has cut Julian Assange's internet connection at its embassy in London, preventing him from communicating with the outside world. Someone please set up free Wi-Fi in that area. This move is to prevent the WikiLeaks founder from interfering in other countries' affairs, Ecuador said. This is ridiculous. It comes after Mr. Assange questioned accusations that Moscow was responsible for poisoning of Russian ex-spy and his daughter in the UK on the 4th of March. A little background information. It's funny that that is actually his stance uh, because I've been saying this all along. I've been saying, you know, where is this sample? Why don't you send the sample to Russia so that they can go through and analyze it and make sure it's actually theirs? My understanding is, is that the, the UK is refusing to give them a sample of the virus or whatever it was that was used and is just blaming them for it because they manufactured it 40 years ago. Well, congratulations, but, you know, anybody between now and then could have manufactured it. So, yeah, my whole question was, well, show us the proof. It's like the whole uh, Assad uh, using chemical weapons on his own people. At the time, I said, show us the proof. The UN wasn't allowed to go in and investigate and to run tests on the planes or anything to see if Assad actually did it. Ended up coming out six months later that he didn't. And that the whole thing was BS. You know, when they're, when they're very cagey about giving out information regarding that sort of stuff or proving or providing proof, I tend to jump to the defense because normally it's a load of crap. But anyway. Mr. Assange was granted political asylum at the Ecuadorian embassy in 2012. He was initially staying in London to avoid extradition to Sweden to face a questioning over allegations of sex crimes. Mm, poisoning the well much? Which the 46-year-old has always denied, and he was actually found not guilty of. They've cancelled the case. Funny that, isn't that? Uh, the Swedish authorities have since dropped their investigation. Funny. Uh, but Mr. Assange believes he will be extradited to the US for questioning over the activities of WikiLeaks if he leaves the building. The UK police, that's not a fear of his. That is actually a reality. The UK police have said that if he leaves the Ecuadorian embassy, the UK police will arrest him. Their claim is, is that because he didn't attend a court case when the, uh, when the UK was trying to extradite him back to Sweden or the US or whatever it may have been, uh, he was supposed to attend this court case. He didn't because he was in the embassy seeking asylum. Um, now, if he leaves the embassy, they are claiming that he will actually be arrested. And God knows what will happen to him after that point, which is why he's staying in the embassy. On Monday, Mr. Assange used Twitter to question the decision by the UK and more than 20 other countries to retaliate against the nerve agent attack on Sergi Sapiro, Sakel might be mispronouncing, and his daughter Yanka in the UK city of Salisbury by expelling Russian diplomats. Further, while it's reasonable that Theresa May and the view of the Russian state as leading suspects, so the evidence is circumstantial. That's what I was saying. The OCPW has not yet made any independent confirmation, permitting the Cameron push the view domestically that Russia is persecuted. And, and that's what my understanding is, is that they haven't actually independently varied Theresa May's actual stance on this. Um, I find that very interesting, as in, oh my god, oh my god, you're so full of something or other. UK Foreign Officer Minister Alan Duncan responded to his comments by branding the Australian a miserable little worm. Way to counter the argument. 
who needs to turn himself over to authorities. Of course you want that. That's why you want WikiLeaks to go down. It's shining a light on all of your bad areas and you don't like it. You want him arrested. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're out of luck. I, I really would like Australia to go through and to make him the official diplomat between Australia and America. That I would love. I, I really wish Australia had a, a Prime Minister that had a set on him. I really do sometimes. In 2016, Ecuador briefly suspended Mr. Assange in that connection after he published hacked emails from the campaign team of Hillary Clinton. They weren't hacked, they were downloaded. Locally. A move seen as having an impact on the US presidential election campaign. And it's funny, you know, they always want to talk about publishing the emails. They never want to talk about why the emails were published in the first place, which is because it was wrong. It is literally a kid getting caught with his hand in the cookie jar and someone coming along and them blaming someone who ratted them out saying, oh my god, you ratted me out to my mum about me sticking my hand in the cookie jar. The kid that ratted you out didn't do anything wrong. He did his job in this case. The guy who stuck his hand in the cookie jar, he's the one that was sticking his hand in the cookie jar. He's the one that did the wrong thing in the first place. In May 2017, Ecuadorian President Leon Monaro, might be mispronouncing, asked Mr. Assange to refrain from expressing his public support for the independent campaign in Spain's Catalonia region after he tweeted that Madrid was guilty of repression. Mr. Assange was granted asylum by President Marco's predecessor, Rafael Calido, Calido, might be mispronouncing. Mr. Monaro's government said it will maintain Mr. Assange's asylum, but it has also sought ways for him to leave the embassy without risking arrest for breaching his bail conditions. Yeah, that's literally what they want to arrest him for, breaching bail. Anyway, and possible extradition to the US over the 2010 publications of classified information by WikiLeaks, which is not against the law because he is a journalist. It's not against the law to publish classified information if you're a journalist and it was given to you. It's against the law for whoever gave it to you, but it's not against the law for the journalist to publish it. Which is why they can't go after Assange. So guys, what's the takeaway from this whole article? Okay, so first of all, I wish the Australian Prime Minister would literally grow a set. Or we elect someone who does. This is an, a, a former Australian civilian, a former Australian resident, who has been prosecuted by the UK and the US and every other government's organisation, except for Ecuador at the moment. He deserves to be freed. He has spent over... Eight years literally living in an embassy because he can't leave. It is insane. He needs diplomatic immunity or something to so that he can get his life back and he can go back to doing what he does best, which is WikiLeaks. Um, I really wish that we would actually have someone go through and actually do that. I really did. I was kind of hoping Trump might do it. We'll have to wait to see, I suppose. But at the end of the day, yeah, hopefully, Sanj, hang in there, buddy. We're, we're all helping as much as we can. Apart from that, guys, at the end of the day, do I think that he'll have his internet connected sooner or later? Hopefully. Obviously, guys, I will keep you up to date on this. I, I do find it very, very convenient. The time that they've actually cut the internet was when he was actually questioning the UK and this Theresa May and this poison or nerve gas or whatever it was Russia allegedly used. As for the nerve gas, I do I haven't seen any proof that Russia did it. Do I think it's possible for them to do it? Yes. Still like to see proof. Because innocent until proven guilty. Um, but yeah, I also do think it is entirely possible that the UK and the rest of the world is trying to do this because they want to start another Cold War. Hey, bomb cell. It's great. But I don't know, guys. At the end of the day, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think they cut his internet at the Ecuadorian embassy because of his tweet? Do you think there was another reason? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.